Give us some self-care health tips for longevity is lifestyle medicine expert, Dr. Kian Vu. Good yeah. morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good to see you. And I like a lot of these tips. And we, we got to get through all of them because sure. I think they're, they're all important. Let's start with your first tip, which is to meditate. Meditate. Meditation is so important. What it does, it, it actually... You know, some people find it very difficult to meditate, but it's very easy. Grab some headphones, do a guided meditation. What it does is it reduces stress. And when you can reduce stress, it reduces inflammation, and it puts you in a peaceful state of mind. And that's the key thing, is just to stay in a peaceful state of mind. So very important to meditate. You can even do apps that, yeah, that really tons get you and into tons of apps. guided meditation. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also we hear it over and over again, exercise. Okay, exercise, <laughs> super important. It raises something called BDNF, or brain-derived neurotrophic factor, and that's like miracle growth for the brain. But what it also does is if you do weightlifting or high-intensity in interval training, it increases lean muscle, which increases years to your life. And if you can't find time to go to the gym, a lot of easy exercises to do at home in the kitchen or in the office, push-ups, lunges, okay. calf raises, all those are perfect. Anything you can sneak in there, you mm -hmm. got to do it. Okay. And then this one is easy for San Diegans, mm -hmm. sunlight. Sunlight. So kind of a two-edged sword. You don't want too much sunlight where you're getting you're burned, get burned at right. all. But sunlight is important. Uh, if you wake up right in the morning, it helps, it helps reset your circadian rhythm so you're sleeping better at night. Sunlight also increases serotonin, which makes you feel good during the day. And it also reduces some of the chronic disease that we can get. Okay, I yeah. like that tip. And then number four, don't smoke and don't be around smoke. Yeah, so there's several things I say avoid completely in 2019. If you could avoid smoke, smokers and secondhand smokers, they actually live 10 to 14 years less than people who aren't as exposed to smoke. Also, if you could avoid sugar, mm -hmm. avoid processed foods, all those things are inflammatory. They can lead to chronic disease. Avoid smoke, sugar, processed foods. Okay. And five, community. So it is important for us to have those interpersonal relations, not just on our phone. Definitely. If we take a look at the blue zone countries, uh, Sardinia, Costa Rica, Okinawa, and Japan, they have a strong sense of community. What it does is it allows... Uh, our bodies to release oxytocin. That reduces stress and that reduces inflammation, increases immunity, and also adds years to our life. So I'm seeing a theme. We really need to reduce our stress and inflammation. We are doing a lot that is causing... Well, stress actually is the main driver of inflammation and it reduces our immunity. So if we could do the things that make us feel good and not let us have stress, we can add years to our life. And so that, of course, leads right into number six, which is hobbies. That's really important for our mental Exactly. Health. So if we could do the <laughs> things that bring us joy, if we could do the things that puts us in states of happiness, joy, gratitude, it actually does things at the genetic level. Epigenetics, uh, it's a study uh, demonstrating that there are external cues. If we do those things that put us in those emotional states, it actually drives genes in our bodies again to reduce inflammation, increase immunity, and add years to your life. Which is a, an interesting segue into number seven, which you break out as a whole separate category, for but sure. you say sex. It's important for longevity. <laughs> Have lots of sex. Do, not only do we get exercise. <laughs> can, can we say safe sex? Can we just like throw that out there? Okay, all right. <laughs> the mom safe and me is done. Sex. Okay. Right. <laughs> Have more sex. Not only does it give us exercise, but it increases immunity. Those people that have more sex have more IgA levels in their saliva. And IgA mm. levels is a sign of increased immunity. It also activates natural killer cells, also a sign for increased immunity. Men that have a lot of sex have reduced risk of prostate cancer, reduced risk of heart attacks. Wow. And it also uh, reduces, uh, increases oxytocin, which we said in community, Right. Very important to reduce stress and keep us from having chronic disease. Okay. And I want to get to the rest really quickly with multivitamins and drinking tea. Okay. Multivitamin. We are just, as a country, usually short of having all the essential nutrients. Right. So it's great to have a multivitamin. I would include vitamin D and omega-3 fatty acids. Okay. Drinking tea. Tea has a lot of antioxidants and polyphenols, which are great for reducing risk of heart attack and stroke and great for our bones. Any particular tea? Green, black, 
and okay. white tees. Green, black, and white. Okay, stick with the colors. Yeah. And number 10, I don't even need you to give me an excuse because I'm just going to go take your advice and do it. But you said right. get a massage. Get a massage. Get the massage. It feels great. <laughs> Again, what does it do? It reduces stress. It increases feel-good hormones, dopamine, serotonin, endorphins. And it's also great. It helps with circulation, and it helps with our immunity by moving our immune cells around. All these things are Makes great. sense to me. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll do it. <laughs> Ten great tips. Thank you so much, Dr. Kian Vu. We're going to have a link uh, to your website on, on our website at KUSI.com. But thank you so much for coming in this morning. Appreciate it. Happy to be here. And San Diego educated. Love it. <laughs> <laughs>